we're going to take a look at what we call a suspended sale. Now, this scenario would be if your customer comes up, you ring their items up and they realize they left their wallet in their car or they forgot something that they needed to purchase way at the back of the store and they need to get out of line, but you don't want to have to ring all these items back up. So we have the items uh, in the system here and we'll simply go to end sale, suspend sale. We'll put something that denotes this person. Maybe they have a green shirt on and we will hit save. Now that is saved in uh, the suspended sales section and we're ready to ring out the next customer. After we've ring out a few customers in our line, the person comes back with the green shirt. They say, I'm ready to check out and we can simply select import, suspended sale, and we'll look for the green shirt. We'll hit that and we'll hit select. And now those items are back into our ring sale screen and we're ready to proceed with the sale and take our payment. Now, uh, this is not intended to ever be used for a charge account or anything like that. If the customer leaves the store with merchandise, they need to have paid for that merchandise.